All right, guys, we're back with the career mode of the Golf Club 2019. I did do the all shot tournament with Tyler yesterday. We done our first game of the league and we ended up drawing. It was actually an awesome match, very close right until the end. We had to clutch up hard on 18. We had to eagle 18 to get a half and Tyler hit a great drive. I hit a great second shot and uh, Tyler hold the putt. And um, we ended up getting a half. We were, it was a great match though. We were two up at one stage. I think that was through like seven holes. They brought it back to one down through nine. And we kept that one up lead. I'm pretty sure until the 14th hole when they won two holes in a row. They won 14 and 15. We halved 16. And then we halved 17 with a birdie. We both birdied 17, a short part three. Um, but yeah, you can go and watch. I did live stream it, but you can go and watch the... The past broadcast, it's up as a video now on um, on YouTube. So if you want to watch it, you can just click on my channel and you can find it there. It's literally like one of the last couple of videos there, the All Shot League. But yeah, it's a, it's super entertaining. I'll have like the stats and stuff. We got You get two points for a, for a draw, three points for a win, one point for a loss, and then zero points for a no-show. So um, it's going to be one match a week. There's 19 teams. I think great there's 20 teams, so I don't know. Is it going to be 19 weeks or whatever? Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company. Alongside me is my partner in crime, John McCarthy. It's time to get our final round action underway. Well, hello, okay. Luke. Fancy meeting you here. Certainly looking forward to getting into the action today. Let's hope there's some spectacular golf out on the course. Thanks, Luke. We'll catch up after nine holes and see what's happening. Yeah, I feel like me and Tyler played pretty well, though. We had a couple of bad shots, but, like, on the yeah, holes that we had, the bad shots, we really did recover pretty well. And we we definitely didn't putt as well as we, like, normally would. Like, Tyler's normally very, very good with the putting. And I've been getting better with the putting. I had a couple of clutch putts, but definitely we missed a couple of putts that we, we could have got. But overall, I was happy with the two points on the first day. Okay, I'm just going to hit this. And, uh, oh, dude! Sensing something was off. So the first two swing. are both way right. First two shots way right. I don't know what that's and, about. And uh, not the greatest of swings on that approach shot. Too much club, I think. You think, buddy? You think? Are we still right? Oh my god, stop. The roll it's getting. Very oh my god. Done. So we're tied for the lead right now after round one easy. in this tournament. We need to make sure that we get the W though. Turn. Alright, that's a clutch par to start off. That's a clutch par to start off the tournament. If we had bogeyed it straight away, we would have fell out of the lead almost immediately. That would not be ideal. But Justin Rose has taken the lead. Five under on the day. And then um, he's through 11 holes. And now Eight under for the tournament. Three. Let's see if we can catch him. We need a birdie. Um, 180. It's uphill. Yeah, I'm going to put just the tiniest little bit of loft on this. Hmm, pulled it just a small little pidge. Wasn't enough anyway, was it? No. Okay. Not the best okay. Shot we've seen today. Just not Definitely shouldn't have put any loft on it, that's for sure. Alright, another we need another clutchish and about clutch five up and down. From the cup. And there you have it. And up and up down. Ups. And another par. We've been struggling for these pars, but we've made par on the first two. And now we can think about making some birdies. Justin Rose gets to 10 under. Jesus Christ, he birdies 11 and 12 to get to 10 under par. Tiger Woods is in second at 8 under now. Come on, guys, we need to make a move. And that, that was a good was shot. A powerful, powerful drive. That was a powerful drive. That's a beauty. All right. Oh, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. No. That's on a slope, too. I wouldn't mind, but it's on a freaking slope, too. I'm going to put a good bit of loft on this. Oh, that's perfect. He needs to sit down. Sit! Please! 
Alright. It's always going to go too far once it pitched on the green. That might come down a little bit, is it? No, it's going to stay up there. Very and we well do have an eagle putt. Played, and hitting this par 5 and 2 is going to set up some tough nice one. eagle opportunities here. Oh, this is 3 inches up because it starts going uphill at the end. Okay. You need to hit it then. I need to hit it. What? No, 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 no. Very solid attempt. Wait, hang on. Was a daunting, daunting That's it, isn't it? Dude, it's literally... Look at this. It's hanging off the edge. Oh, my God, bro. Now let's take a look at the action. Are you kidding me? We're absolutely robbed of one there. That is cruel. Cruel. That would have been such a nice eagle. We do regain second place alongside right, Tiger Woods with a birdie four. on the third. Should have been an eagle. Now, this is where we messed up last time. I tried to go a little bit too far left, but we can carry this no matter what. So, I'm just going to go like here. I know that now. And see, even though that's fast, that would be so just dandy. Good for this one. Whereas, if I had done that um, with where I was aiming yesterday, I probably would have been out of bounds again. But it's perfect now, Johnny. We had a 7 under round in the first round, and it really, like, should have been lower. That's the crazy thing. I'm going to hit the 91 full. 18 foot up. It's fast. It's a little fast, which means it's going to go a little long and left. Yeah, I think you'll like that. And this is for birdie. It's for birdie. Not much of a chance, but it is a chance. Okay. Oh my goodness. Just didn't turn. Missed. Turned after the hole. But I should have left it where it was in the first this place. For par. How many times are you going to hear me say that over the course of this career mode? But and it's a nice par. Putt there. And we started solidly. One under through four. And that performance has led him to go down in the standings. I feel like we should have had that eagle, but Tiger Woods gets to nine under again. Takes second place by himself. And Justin Rose is ten under still. <laughs> Through 14 so okay, it's not going to be easy to win this tournament guys today. we need to we need we probably need to have another similar kind of round if we want to win this oh that's perfect that's what you'd like to see gonna find a short grass dang good come down off that slope come down off that slope come down off that slope dang it i don't think it did and about 140 yards to go oh, i did actually it's okay. It's not too bad a slope. It's uh, 22 foot up. I'm just going to hit this. Going uh, I the pushed at the very end there a little bit, as you can see. Heading towards the green. Good for distance, but just had that little bit of slice at the very end, which is going to leave us a very difficult putt. It's still going, in fact. When's it going to stop? We don't know. 34 <clears> feet to go here. 34 feet. Four inches up. It's not actually that crazy difficult. We should be able to two putt this, no problems asked. This oh, it's going to be low. Be shot, folks. Oh, I needed to be out a little bit more. All right. And they're about three feet away here. It's a par. It's always going to be a difficult putt, but it's it's a two putt. Not bad. It's another par. We need to just start putting our approaches closer. Moving down in the our approaches have not been ideal. And 11 under now leads. So what I'm saying, well, what I was saying is pretty much true. We're probably going to have to shoot a similar round, another 7 under, if we want to win this thing. I'm going to hit the 145 flat out. Going with the nine. Again, kind of pushed it a little bit, dude. That's annoying me now. Probably good for distance again, but yeah, it's going to catch that slope because I went right. I'm just going to push it all the way down. The approaches, I'm just going a little bit right on them. This the very end. The birdie. Okay. Unless you break that much, does it? She breaks back at the end. Hit that too hard, did I? Oh my gracious, that was close. Hmm. See, it broke back at the end a little bit. And 
or the par. All right, this hole out another par. Spot. The only birdie we've had was on the par five, a two putt. Pretty steady. Where it pretty much just place. stayed on the edge somehow. It should have been an eagle, but now we have four players above us, guys, and starting the task is starting to mount up. We need to start. We need to start making some birdies and soon, or else this is going to start to get away from us. It's a better shot down the middle. This is looking fairway bound. It's as good as you can hit a one iron right there. Bang, 261, down the middle. And about 170 yards to the pin. We have 170 yards left. I'm going to hit the 158 flat. Flat out. Going oh, with no, the dude. Fast iron. and left. Every time I hit it left, I hit it fast. Significant amount of it's actually unbelievable here, how, how often and that happens. Bit of a poor and that is not there. good at all, because we're literally right on the upslope. Oh, I'm going to hit the 26, because see behind the hole there, it comes back a little bit. It's a good shot. Another par. We're scrambling well. But we need to start scoring well, man. All right, moving up on the leaderboard and into third place after that hole. Still three back. Justin Rose, eight under on his round. That's quite incredible. And another par five. So, yeah, we have to birdie this one. Come on, guys. Oh, left. Left should be okay, though. Uh, it's probably not reachable in two now. Especially with that damn kick. Just hit this man's foot. Are you going to move out of my way, man? Come on, brother. Yeah, we're not reaching in two. Uh... If I cream this, creme de la crop. Now I'm still not reaching into. Yeah, Especially when you do that, man. Holy hell. That actually would have reached the green if it was straight. Like, no doubt about it in my mind, that would have reached the green if it was straight. Look and how far left that is. In the rough, but it was hit from some much gnarlier rough. Gnarly? That's gnarly, dude. Sit. Sit, 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 sit. Man, we're making a mess of these holes. I don't know. I think we like played that. so well this one's looking like in the first round. What's happening so? the second round? We need this one. We need this one for a confidence booster, man. Come on. Turn. Turn into the hole. Yes! Just about makes it. And we needed that one. We birdie both the par fives now, and we move and to nine under par. On the leaderboard after that hole. Through eight holes. If we can birdie nine, we have a great chance. We're only two back still. We're not playing and good, but we're only two ninth. back. With ten holes remaining. And I don't think anyone's going to go, like, crazier low than lower than Justin Rose. We'll see, but I don't know. I feel like 12, 13 under will win this. And, uh, Ooh, nicely that's a little done, bit too like far left, isn't we'll it? We'll have some fairway here. It's going to run out of fairway, though. I think it's going to run out of fairway. No doubt. No doubt. I'm the master of running out of Apologies fairway into the light rough. Folks at home, uh, that shot actually ended up in the rough. What do you think, buddy? I'm hitting this. Oh, it's good. That's going to be all over the flag stick. What I tell you, boys? What I tell you? Go on, chase up a little bit. Good shot, though. And that's a chance for a birdie here on nine. And this putt is for birdie. No, oh, really? And, uh, just doesn't. Didn't look, look like it was breaking that much. I should have just hit it a bit harder. About a Would have taken the break out of it. I'm always well, scared to put too much break on those short ones, and I end up missing. Uh, into the final stretch of this uh, of this event, really. I'm curious as to what you should have would have been a nice birdie to close off Two the night. Two strokes is a margin that any player can overcome, John. It's going to be a great back nine this one. Thank you, Luke. Uh, now back to the action. Wow, there Perfect. is some serious power behind this drive. Perfect. Bang! A nice bounce forward too, and that is golden. 320 yards. Uh, 
I've pulled it again. That's the second time with the 91 wedge Should I pulled it. Put a bit too much club on this one. Yeah, man. Why do I keep pulling it? And in the end, I think that's going to play on the green here. I think it's because I'm trying so hard not to hit it right now because that's what I was doing. Jesus Christ, this is a tough putt. Didn't hit it hard enough. Just focused too much on the line. I didn't focus on the pace at all. Yeah. Now we have a fucking nasty little downhiller for par. I pushed it. I pushed that putt. That looked good. I pushed that putt. I really did. I came up out of that one. Yeah, this Probably would have made it bogey. if I stayed straight. I pushed that one too. Yeah, oh nice my putt. god. What the hell? Is wrong with me right now. And after that hole, one under for the day. And Gosh, dude, such a place. silly bogey. And just about to uh, tee off on this par three. A bad three putt for a bogey there. I think that's oh, fast. a five iron. That's fast. All right. Yeah, not the greatest luck on I that. I keep pulling shot. everything now. I was I was and always just pushing stuff. Now I'm pulling everything. One. That was a better chip there. Good chip. And this putt is needed to save par. And a decent little I was making there. sure just to take the break out of it with the pace on that one. In third place on the leaderboard. Third place. Justin Rose is finished at uh, 11 under. Gomez is through nine holes. He's 10 under. We have just not really moved. We have not made our move yet. The struggling Sunday of the Apex Hound. Right, I'm going to hit the 204, honestly. I think the bunker is out of play. Myself a nice full shot coming in. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. Okay, perfect. Four iron down the middle. Give us about, what, 90 yards to the pin? And setting up this shot below the hole. Nope, 107. Okay, good. Again, pulled. Again! For the green. Can I stop pulling every single wedge shot? Holy hell, dude. That would have been so good as well if it was straight. I'm not going to make any birdies if I keep giving myself these kind of putts for for birdie, you know? I need to be closer than that, man. Turn. Ooh, Damn it. That was uh, that was very close. I need to be closer than that. We are one this under. This is such a disappointing round, man. Away. Especially after that last round. I was on cloud I'm nine. I was like, this is the resurgence. I'm feeling so good. Now this round I've came out and I've and just done nothing. I've just pulled everything. Steady here in the third place on the leaderboard. All right, let's see oh, what man. happens on the 13th hole here. I think I saw 12 under in the lead there too, maybe. Could be wrong, but just pulled it again. Why am I pulling absolutely everything? Oh, and that's on the slope, yeah, too, he's man. He's probably not uh, happy about that shot. Oh, you think? Alright, if I take this straight to the pin, it'll go right, because I'm on the... Ooh, it's going to be perfect now. No, it's going to go into the other bunker. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. We need to get up and down for a birdie or else the round is over. If we don't birdie this par 5, it's really not difficult. Pretty good. Pretty good. Very we nice weren't in range for a flop, so I had to hit a pitch out of the bunker. And now Birdie is very likely, apparently. I don't think you know who you're dealing with, buddy. 
But we do make the birdie, and we move to nine under, which should be two back, I'm hoping. Sitting at two under for the day. And yep, two back, okay. Place on the 11 under. And setting up now Come on, on guys, we need to beat that. I'm not, I'm not pulling this one. Okay, that's much better now. Even though that was just like the okay, tiniest bit, that's much good. better. It's every drive you hit like that will be perfect. Alright, 321, down the middle. From about We've got a short yards. wedge. Gap wedge. Probably want to hit the... Do I want to hit the 135? I do, I think. Go pulled in with the I pulled it again, in. man. I cannot not pull a wedge. Good. It's actually triggering me so badly. And I've done it on every single wedge I've had so far, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's actually insane. Yeah, that next putt is going to be an epic one, that's for sure. But they're on the green. Yeah. Get in. Get in the hole! Ha <laughs> ha! A 38-footer in the middle. I'm still triggered that I pulled that wedge. After specifically telling myself, don't pull this in my head. I still pulled it. I think I'm just think thinking about it too much, man. I don't know. Alright, we're only one back now, though, guys. We could still end up winning this tournament. And all my bitch and Amona would be for nothing. And a promising looking shot here. Push that one. Should still be okay, though. At least I didn't pull it. Oh my god, again. Just off into the light rough every time. That's just my thing at the moment. 158. I'm gonna hit the 158. A little bit of loft. No, there's no way I pulled that. There's no way I pulled that. Are you kidding me? And slow as well, but I just can't believe that was left. I was like, that's actually a good one for once. But no, still left. I shan't believe it. And then, of course, I push it to the right with the chip. Ah! This one looks about uh, four feet. Does it? It looks about four feet, because it is about four feet. Bang, it's a par. And we're still one back. We need to gain one shot here. Hole. Come on, guys. Staying we can still win this. The second place on the leaderboard. Three holes left. Setting up on the par three. We need to birdie one of them to tie Justin Rose and birdie two of them to win outright. I kind of want to tie him, see what happens. Does they just give the win to us? Because that would be so stupid if they do. That was a little better. This could be good. It's heading for the green yeah, here. This is it. I did put a bit of loft on it, but I needed a little bit more. Need a little bit more, but it's a decent shot. It's a, it's a chance. It's a pretty chance for sure. And that putt will be stops up past the pin there, and distance still to go. We have a good birdie chance here. It's downhill, off the right. It's got to go. It's got to go in. Four. Yes, it catches the side of the cup. And it does go in. My cap was blocking it off, but I could just barely that, see it catch the side of the cup there. Top spot. And we are now tied for the lead with two remaining people. But there is a couple people out there, like Fletcher, who's only through three holes, and he's nine under, so he could easily catch us at some stage as well. Tiger Woods and Ricky Fowler both finished up. Um, other than that, there's Rory McIlroy, who's nine under through 11. And Gomez is 10 under through 14. Okay, so we really do need to pick up another birdie at least if we want to hold on to this, I would say. Perfect. Perfect, baby. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. It's definitely going to run out of into the long rough over there. I maybe should have put a little fade on that. And unfortunately, that one actually ended up in the rough. It's fine, though. It's fine though. I'm feeling good about this shot. I'll tell you right now. Push the shit out of it. I don't know why I was feeling good about that shot. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna edit. And this one's for Absolutely birdie. terrible. 
Alright, we got a tough putt for a birdie here, man. Nope. Not enough Ooh. break in the slightest. That was a big breaker, because I did put on a good bit of break there. And That's a big breaker the right there. Uh, it's a par, though. It's a par. No doubt. No doubt. And still no tied freaking down. first place after that. All right, we're still tied. Tied for the lead, one hole remaining. Is this a par five? I can't remember. Yeah, it is. And I'm pretty sure this is a reachable par five, too. Yeah. Pulled it. Should be okay, though. It would be just nice and dandy, in fact. And we should be able to have a go off this in two. And he will like that from 225 yards. 204 will be perfect. Watch the 204 just be absolutely picture perfect, boys. Going with the four iron here. Oh, it's so good. Needs to sit, though. Ah, uh, got a terrible kick. If it had landed, like, on top of it, it would have been very nice, but... It still should be a birdie, I guess. I think you'll Unfortunate like kick there. It was heading right at the flagstick. Not enough break. Okay. The shortest putt for a birdie to finish off at 12 under in the solo lead for the moment. And this next putt is for a final round score of 67. And is it for the title is the question. And that putt will drop for birdie. Did we win the tournament? And folks, he's done it. He's played so well here today, and that's why he walks away. Yes! Oh, Come on! See the on his face. What a I ended up shooting five under in the end, which wasn't that bad. This will do a lot for his confidence. The par fives. We had the par fives for breakfast. Well, I think we birdied every par five, did we? Us today. As you can see, Dustin Johnson, Ricky Fowler, Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Justin Rose, all up there. We just edge out Justin Rose with a birdie on the last and claim our second title, the Juno Cup. Thank you guys for watching. I super appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with more and hopefully very, 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 very many more victories to come. So yeah, I appreciate the support on the videos. It's actually been insane. But there it is, our second title at Kipahulu Reserve, it comes. And there you go. We'll be playing, I think, another just kind of mediocre tournament next. Vice Golf. Okay, we have unlocked a new sponsor. Cool. That will give us new clothes and new gear, I think. Vice Golf. Okay. So, yeah, next is the Reverie Open at White Fang. And uh, I'll see you guys for that. So, make sure to tune in next time, and I'll see you then. Peace out.